Hi friends, Lily here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Look what just got here. It's a big old box from Bai featuring smaller box from eBay. All the figures in here I am so excited to open. All of these are pretty much grails. One of them though, I never thought that I would own. Without further ado, let's get cracking into it. So I think I'm gonna start with merchandise items. I only picked up like three um, non-figure related things. So I think let's just like get those out of the way first and then we'll save, we'll save the main course till for after. So let's, let's just, let's just crack in. Please tell me I'm not cutting into anything. As always, Bai has done an amazing job packaging. Ugh! So I consolidated um, a couple. Oh goodness, this setup is not the most secure. Yeah, so they've done a great job. This thing is very, very well protected, and I did not even pay for um, package protection. All I uh, added on was the consolidation. You can also add padding or protection, which I think is awesome. I actually did that for my Ryuko bunny back there. That was like my grailiest grail that ever grailed and there was no way that I was going to risk her getting damaged. So I opted to get like an extra layer of um, bubble wrap basically. And as you can see, she arrived in perfect condition. But anyway, let's get right to it. Ooh. 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 <laughs> so many bubbles. Two of these are anime related and then one of them is not. So let's see what we got first. Ah, okay. So this is the non-anime related item first. One of the many things that I collect um, are Tamagotchis. This is a Uritama, I believe is what they are called in Japanese. These were, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how is this sticking on? I guess like static. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm tempted to just leave that. That's pretty cool. You're blocking me, so though, had to go. Here it is. I got this used. I would have loved to get it in the package, but this particular shell design is quite rare, really hard to find. It's quite like dirty. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe my ring light will catch it, but um, there's like a couple little specks of like dust and some scratching on the screen. That's okay with me though. Honestly, I just mainly wanted this for the shell design and it looks like the design itself looks really great. There was actually a screen protector on this little Tama, so I just took it off and the screen is actually in perfect condition. I am so happy. I'll have to make sure that this actually is functional, but I believe in the listing it said that it had been tested, so we shall see. I have the proper batteries to test this little baby out, so I'll be trying it out later. I just noticed they actually gave me batteries. Wow. Talk about batteries are included. Let's move on to the next one. This is a Danganronpa little tote bag. Oh, I got this on Mercari. Um, again, I used Bai to buy all this stuff. This is a little um, Danganronpa collaboration with the Japanese I think it's a streetwear brand. They're called Listen Flavor, and they do a lot of really cute collaborations with animes and other kind of pop culture things in Japan. Not only does it have this really awesome front design, it also has a little back design as well. It's got like the Daganrampa school crest as well as the Listen Flavor logo there. I also just loved the vibrancy of this print. I think that this is so cute. The little angel devil wings they gave Monokuma is really, really cute. Um, just this whole vibe, I'm loving it. And I love tote bags so much. They're like my, my go-to bag. So this I will most certainly be using on a regular basis. Last little piece of merch before we get to some figures. All right, so the next piece of merch that we have is a really cool, um, it's kind of expensive for what it is. It's a little postcard, but it's beautiful artwork. 
Um, it's also Dagen Rampa related. If you couldn't tell already, I'm in a big Dagen phase right now. I'm loving it. I'm living. Um, <laughs> live, laugh, love. She's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy I got this. Wow. Woo. So this was from a um, Dagen Rampa special kind of like collaboration it was with a bunch of different illustrators they each got like a character and then did that character in their own art style did a lot of different um pieces of merch for this collaboration buttons little postcards i think they did like huge pictures they also did tapestries which if i could ever find this print in a tapestry i would pay a hefty fine i would I believe the collaboration, I had to write it down, I think it's called Danganronpa X Illustrator in Shin Shinjuku DIDI Complex. That could be wrong, but that's what I found on my figure collection. I believe that this was also a lottery situation where you would buy like a 500 yen lottery ticket and then they would pull from a little box and whatever the letter that you pulled out kind of coordinated to a prize. Um, this was one of them. I thought this was so cute. Jiaki is my absolute fave and I also really really love that they gave her little cat ears. I love cats and I love cat girls. I love anything to do with cats so this is great. This is awesome. This is everything. I think they just absolutely nailed her expression. All the beautiful little flowers that surround this is so cute. And also, 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 I just now realized this. Usami in the corner. Let's put her, let's put her there next to Gorilla Kuma. Ah, yes. Okay. Let's get to some figures. First up, I think I'm gonna open up the figure I got off of eBay. In my experience buying figures off of eBay, if they ship from Japan and they have good reviews, it's gonna be a good experience. Um, but of course, there's always exceptions to that. Um, but anyway, let's hope that this one is good. So this is Louise Gothic and Punk version from the anime The Familiar of Zero. So, gonna be honest with y'all, I've actually not watched this anime. Please don't come for me. Please don't come for me. Uh, honestly, I just, I saw this figure. I thought she was gorgeous, beautiful, everything I love. She's got the cute thing. She's got the punk thing going. That is like a figure after my heart. I forgot to tell you, this is an altar figure. I absolutely love altar. I think they are a wonderful figure company. They always do an amazing job with their shading and everything, um, the sculpt. So this seems to be no exception just from looking at her. This box is just so cute. I also love that it's not too big. This will probably fit nicely in one of my figure box boxes <laughs> that I have. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. I also love that her base is really simple. It's this really cute, like, light pink and white kind of summoning circle. Oh, please. I don't want to bend your little legs. Please. Oh, no. It's a leg bender. Okay. She's in. She's in. Wow. She looks so, so beautiful. Alter did an incredible job on this one. I absolutely love her face. I think her expression is just the cutest ever. The little white highlights they gave her on her cheeks are just such a cute touch. Her hair looks stunning. The sculpt paired with the great shading just gives it this really gorgeous dimension. And they even went in and shaded each individual bow. Her dress sculpt is incredible. Each fold is shadowed and highlighted, which give it this really realistic look. They definitely put a lot of care into the sculpt and painting of this figure. One of my favorite parts about this figure and what drew me to it in the first place are her stockings and her boots. I love that the stockings don't match. I think that was such a cute choice. And the gray stocking has this almost transparency to it as well as micro glitters, absolutely gorge. I love how clunky and big her boots are. So, so cute. The little kitty skull was such a cute detail. 
The base is simple yet effective. It's this gorgeous light pink with a white summoning circle and really complements the figure beautifully. It's also not very big, which is really good for not taking up too much space in a cabinet. She's everything I love. I love punk and cute, and I just am so excited to have her in my collection. So she's gonna hang out right here next to little Chiaki. All right, so let's open another one. I do have one that I would prefer to save for the end. I'm gonna open this one. If it's the one that I'd like to save for the end, I'm just gonna put it off to the side. Let's see which this one is. Of course it's the one that <laughs> Of course it's the one that I want to save. So she's going over there. Let's do this one instead. Here we are. So this next one is also um from a lottery or a Kuji. There's a few other items from this particular lottery, but this figure here was the chase or the last get um, prize from the lottery. So let's take a look. So this is the Junko Inoshima last get, hence the LG there, prize from the little Kuji. There's also another variation of this particular figure, which was the A prize. It's like another really like top prize to get from the Kuji, but this is like the, the final, the chaser, the whatever you want to call it. Um, so the only difference is for the A prize version, she does not have her little crown and gavel. I was totally wrong. I'm so sorry. I should have double checked. In the A prize version, she does have the gavel. She just doesn't have the crown. And then in this version, she does. I really like the crown and gavel. I think those are some some perfect little accessories for Junko. Um, so of course I went with this one. Junko is one of those characters that like I both simultaneously love and hate. I've always loved her character design way before I even like got into Danganronpa. Um, so for that alone, as well as like, she may be awful, but she is a great character. One thing that I have heard about this particular figure is she is quite prone to leaning. Leaning is something that happens with figures that have um, more weight to one side. Hopefully that doesn't happen with mine, but if it does, it does, whatever. Little quality control issue. His, I don't know if you can tell, but the peg on his little white foot there is like kind of square on the end and the hole is round. So not kind of sure how that's gonna work out, but I'm so scared I'm gonna crack the base. Please, I've done that before. Okay, that's probably as good as we're gonna get. I don't wanna force them in. Man, they did a great job on this one. Everything looks really well painted. Her face looks good, and the hair sculpt on this figure is really amazing. The movement her ponytails have is great. There's even some shading going on there, and you don't always see that on prize figures. I also love the detail her crown has. The gold paint looks so good. Her body sculpt looks really, really nice. I especially love the pose. I think her little booty popped out to the side and her posing with the gavel just looks so, so good. The fact that her and Monokuma are doing the same thing is perfect. Love that they did that. It's very, very fitting. I think the base is really complimentary to the figure. It's quite simple, but has detailing that really suits her and it also has her name as well. Overall, I love everything about this figure. I think it's a super cute pose and it's really well done for a figure that's coming from a Kuji. I'm just so happy to have this in my collection. I feel like if you're a Danganronpa fan, you gotta have a Junko in there somewhere. So this will be mine. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy to have this. Let's put her right here. All right, let's get into these last two figures. Both of these I am so excited for, and I have been waiting, and I'm just so happy they're here. So let's, let's crack in. Let's get this big heavy boy open, and then we'll move to the final one. Can you guess what bunny this is? You're probably like, but Lily, bunny boxes are usually way bigger than this. They're long. Why is this one so short? Well, that's because she is actually my first bunny that does not come with the stand. She's actually in like a sitting, kneeling position. So 
pretty cute. I think she's gonna add a lot of great dimension to my little bunny shelf there. Um, very excited. We have here a brand new, never been opened, Kiyaki Nanami E-Style Burning Bunny. Wah, wah, wah. She's gorgeous. She is absolutely gorgeous. I also like that this box is a little bit smaller. I'm running out of room. My my figure box boxes are running out of room. Oh my god, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Both times I have opened um, one fourth bunny figures, I'm always like, I don't know why, but every time I'm like, oh my god, they're so much bigger than I expected. And this is no exception. She looks absolutely huge and gorgeous and just, ugh, oh, just beautiful. Let's free her from, from, from her, her box. Let's free her. She is a freeing bunny after all. So happy to have this. I think this is a very unique bunny. I think they're doing a great job trying to kind of tailor the bunny suit to fit the character more. Oh God, I'm so scared. Ugh. That doesn't sound good. Keep going. You're good. You're good. You're good. And stop. That was stressful. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. And I get with bunnies, I'm like, I don't even want to touch you because I'm gonna break you. Oh, I really love that actually this one does not go on a base. I, It feels more secure and less fragile actually. This is great. I am so, so in love with this figure. Look how absolutely adorable she is. Ah, I think her expression is just the cutest ever. It looked a little bit off in photos, but it is way, way better in person. I especially love her eyes. I adore the fact that they gave her a bunny hood over a headband. I think it's very cozy looking and fits her sleepy, I stayed up all night gaming aesthetic really, really perfectly. They also really went in on the texture of the hood and there's also this gorgeous pink gradients that's happening. I also love so much that they put her in a onesie looking bodysuit. It's supposed to be styled after her shirt in her Goodbye Despair outfit, which is just a really cute and attention to detail touch. They also went with a thigh high fishnets for her, which was a great choice, again paying homage to her regular outfit from the second game, as well as her shoes and her collar. They also didn't forget to paint on her boob mole, which very good, attention to detail, we love that. Another great choice was the cozy arm warmers they gave her rather than the traditional cuffs. I think that that pairs really, really perfectly with the bunny hood. I love her pose so much. I just wish that she came with a cute pink, like fluffy base or something to put her on. But overall, I could not be more happy with this figure. I think she is so cute and I am just in love with her. She's so cute. Let's put her here. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, let's get to this last figure. This is a figure I never thought that I would own. She is most certainly a grail. Again, all of these I would consider grail level, um, but this is just one that like, I never see listings for. Let's get her, let's get her out. I was very lucky to find this figure brand new, never been opened, still has like the little um, tissue paper on her. But here we have, if you couldn't already tell, the one 6.5 scale cyan figure from Show by Rock. Mmm, this is a grail. Mmm, this is a grail, 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 grail. She is done by Hobby Japan and Amakuni. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Here she is. She is so cute. She's everything that I love. I love cats. I love cat girls. I love Lolita inspired outfits. Um, she hits all the boxes. Also, a little fun fact. 
I am a musician myself, so I just was totally drawn to this figure. Um, just she really, she really does hit all the, the marks for me. She is a cat girl in a cute outfit playing guitar. What more could you want, honestly? I think I should open her. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. She's beautiful. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. She's so precious. My precious. Does her head come off? No, it can't. I'm not even gonna try. Does her head come off? Okay, it does. It does. Dude, that's like the scariest thing ever. I didn't know her head came off. Um definitely gonna make putting the guitar on a lot easier so oh this figure everything about this oh my god she's beautiful so here is her base very very cute very simple i love this base this is what i want in an anime figure base simple yet cute something to complement the figure got a headless cyan word 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 that looks good let's get her head back on oh god that is stressful oh okay it clunked right on in she does come with two guitar picks um which that's awesome because let me just show you really quick this is how tiny the guitar picks are And uh, I will most certainly lose one of these at some point, probably while I'm like trying to put it in between her fingers. I will drop one and it will go to the carpet dimension and be lost forever and there'll be no hope to finding it. So I'm really happy that they included two because I know myself and that will happen. Man, oh man, she is a cutie. Oh no, the face on this figure, dude. Ah, oh, it's so good. Her expression, spot on. The sparkle in her eyes and her little fang is just the cutest ever. Her hair is absolutely incredible. Each curl and spiral is shaded and sculpted beautifully. And the motion going on here is just absolutely amazing. I am in love with her pose so, so much. Once again, the motion going on in this figure is amazing. All the folds and the ruffles in her dress were carefully sculpted and they just look so, so real. Whoever sculpted this figure must have done a ton of work studying clothes and movement because this is just insane. Every frill and ruffle is shaded gorgeously as well as her guitar. The guitar is a beautiful glossy pink and the strings are actually real. Her stockings look so, so good. Once again, the shading here is impeccable. They did a beautiful job. Her shoes have a beautiful gloss finish to them and they look so, so cute. I think the base complements this figure really, really nicely. It's a simple design, yet very effective to the figure. Overall, she is just so, so stunning and I could not be more happy with her. Dreams came true today. Got, got, got multiple grail figures, and this one I just never thought I would own. So, I love this figure. Oh, I love it so much. I love all these figures. Today was a very good day. Don't know what else to say other than wowza. Wow. So there it is. I cannot be more happy with these figures and merch pickups. This, while it did really hurt my wallet, this was a wonderful wonderful little figure haul for me dreams came true today most certainly i'd love to hear which was your favorite out of the little pickups for today thank you so much for clicking on this video i really really appreciate that uh, if you subscribed that is so very kind of you and i really appreciate you that's all i got for you for today so i really hope to catch you in the next one and i'll be posting more soon and 
hope you have a great day. Bye.